Thanks, Mike. It's been a while, hasn't it? So long. Mike's Daily Podcast. Welcome to Cafe Anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley. It's in the last place on earth. It's FFSO 2629. Mike's Daily Podcast. 2629. And Mike Matthews doing his podcast at Cafe Anyway. Everybody's here. Hey, wait, think fast. You've got to come up with some words to end this song. And if you don't want to be like Ali Wong, you have to stay with your husband. Wait, what? Mike's Daily Podcast. This is something I learned today about the actress from the Mike's Netflix show Daily Beef Podcast. That she was. Yeah! That it's true, just like in the movie, she had a uh, husband. Right? God. That apparently was not a celebrity. And then when she started getting popular, she's like, why am I with this guy? I can have whoever I want. Allie. Allie. I think you're on the road to ruin. Better turn this ship around, Allie. There's more to life than what about relationships? What about all the nurturing you get from a relationship that someone who's your equal and your intelligent, maybe superior, but you know they give you information and and, and make your life better with the information. I guess she's just not into that anymore. She wants her own thing. Whatever. Cafe, whatever. Cafe anyway. And Louis Capaldi. Wow, he apparently was performing and got like sick or raspy or he couldn't, he was just, he's got all kinds of these issues that is apparently is also speaking of Netflix. It's in some sort of documentary about him and about what he is going through. Uh, A diagnosis of Tourette syndrome. And here's today's podcast. And he has mental health issues. He says, when I have a panic attack, it feels like I'm going insane, completely disconnected from reality. He told the director, Joe Perlman, I can't breathe. I can't feel my breath going in. I get dizzy. I feel like there's something happening to my head. I'm sweating. The big thing for me, it is I'm always going to feel like this now. This is me. Hmm. Well, we wish him the best. See, but... Do you see what I'm saying about relationships? The late great Basil the Boxer. Now, as far as dogs and humans go, those are some pretty dang good relationships. You can learn a lot from a dog. I'm saying. And the late great Basil the Boxer is spirit with me, even now here at Cafe Anyway, as I'm trying to get to my next point. Oh, yes, today. Today happens to be, if you were listening to this on the 24th, International Ragweed Day. We do not, who wants that day? But apparently that is a thing. If you're wondering why you're sneezing, scratching your face, etc., itching because you're itchy, that's why. That's enough. Put down the mic. It's also Global Smurf Day. MTV News. You hear it. First. She's going to realize she's a human being. Despite, yes, all of her talents that make her look like she's superhuman in the comedy world. And she does some amazing acting in Beef. Although I'm wondering how much acting she had to do when she's mirroring her own life. Mirroring it. But still, at some point, you're a human. You've got to interact with humans. At some point, you realize Hollywood is... It's a, it is La La Land. It's not real. It's dollars and cents and things. I'm just finding out, speaking of Hollywood type industries, Disney, Disney with all their streaming and their amusement parks and their movies, their TV shows. Well, apparently a lot of projects got canceled for the, for Florida, partly because of DeSantis, because of Disney not wanting to work with him because of his policies. Revenge is a dish best served cold. You think about that. It's a tough business. What I'm saying is, 
in the end, it's all about humans and human interactions. Unless you're Elon Musk. It's a nightmare of a show. Who said today that he will start training if the mixed martial arts cage fight he has provoked with fellow billionaire media mogul Mark Zuckerberg takes shape. This according to Reuters. Twitter owner Musk tweeted back on Tuesday he was up for a cage match in Las Vegas with Zuckerberg, CEO of uh, Facebook parent Meta, who has... Facebook parent Meta. Mike's daily podcast master pod beater. Who's trained in jiu-jitsu. I haven't started training yet, so if this doesn't happen, I will, Musk said in a talk on Twitter with Ashley Vance, the author of a book on him and the space race. The match might actually happen, said Elon, while attending a birthday party in Europe. Adding it was possible that it could go badly if Zuckerberg takes the match seriously. (laughs) Musk also said SpaceX, space, by the way, you can follow me on Twitter at Mike Talks. Not like TikTok, but like me doing what I'm doing now, talking. So it's Mike Talks. Yeah. Check that out if you want to. Musk also said SpaceX investments in the rocket Starship. The debut flight of which exploded over the Gulf of Mexico back in April. Remember that? And everybody's like, oh my gosh. What? And then meanwhile, the the crew is cheering. Yay, yay. Oh, that's great. It blew up. Woohoo. We got all this data. That's why we're so happy because we got all this data. And that'll help us with the next launch so that we can launch and not blow up. Yay. Blowing up. Imploding. Now that's uh, At least nobody was on that spaceship When it blew up Unfortunately with the Crew Down there At the Titanic As we go outside a cafe anyway Where we bring you Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley To the last place on earth I'm not going to talk about it Because everybody's talking about it But I will say A friend of mine named Masa He said something interesting How odd it is That the Titan went down so close to the Titanic. He said, there's something weird there going on. It's like the ghosts of the Titanic that are buried down there. Like they're, come with us, come to us. And that reminded me, I think there was a movie, for made for TV movie that was actually a mini series with the British actor, the late British actor, Christopher Lee, who often portrayed Dracula. And he was in a couple of the prequel Star Wars movies that Lucas made in the 90s and the early O's and in it a ship goes down uh, like the Titanic it goes down and well there's a years and years later a research vessel goes down a submarine to check it out and as it's looking around the ship it suddenly sees somebody walking around inside the ship and they realize oh wow there's air in there And it turned out that just as the ship was sinking to the bottom, there was some super smart guy, inventor, who created an air recycling system. And there's like this whole culture going on. And it follows the typical Soylent Green is people type premise. Where there are some people in the ship that didn't make it in the the, the high pressure turn them into mutants <laughs> and there's the people that survived the sinking and they're all living like it's still the year that, that, that all, when the sinking happened it's a bizarre movie but made me think of that so Musk said that SpaceX was working on improvements to the Starship or to Starship because nothing's going to stop us now outside a cafe anyway somewhere in Podcaster Valley the last place on earth the podcast picture today Let's see the last one featured the wonderful birthday boy from Thursday that would be Rocky the cat you can see that picture at Mike's Daily Podcast.com. and sorry I gotta do what everybody does nowadays on podcasts and not have their mouths anywhere near the microphone here I go so I'm way over here looking at Because my laptop is over here And I can't get it closer to the microphone Outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcaster Valley Tall dog But yes, the last podcast was called Hat Pen 
And it featured my lovely lady friend And if you want to know why it was called Hat Pin Well, go back and listen to it Because my lovely lady friend told an interesting story That involved a hat pin And then Talking about the nice little birthday present She got for Rocky the Cat But you can see that picture at MikeStellyPodcast.com Look who's out here Hello, Michael, my son's mad. I'm going to go into my teeth. This is this thing called a microphone. Ooh. Well, it's this thing that allows you to create audio art like I am doing now with my voice in a professional manner. See, today when people talk about podcasts, the, the, their minds immediately jump to the visual and to the video because everybody, somebody, some idiot along the line decided, hey, it's going to be smart and wonderful and, and watchable, watchable to watch these people doing basically just talking into microphones and doing a podcast. I don't get that at all. But somehow that has become a thing And there are so many videos on YouTube That is just a couple of guys talking into microphones Once upon a time When there was Howard Stern And the E! Channel Said oh yeah we'll air Howard Late at night And show all the craziness And then shove 50 billion commercials into it Oh my gosh I remember like You'd watch two minutes of the content with Howard talking to whoever it was David Lee Roth What have you And and then there's another commercial Coming up next And they would preview What you would see Then you'd sit through five commercials Then you'd see for an instant A preview of what was about to happen Then you'd see what had just happened It was the most redundant thing It's almost as redundant as me explaining it to you So I just Am glad that this podcast doesn't have that <laughs> Honestly I have asked you In the past if you wanted that And you never responded So I'm guessing Nope We're okay Mike Thanks Look who else is here Hello Dave Mike This is Valentino The parking attendant And this is Bison Bentley Do you know that? Mike you never said What the podcast picture was the. Yeah, what's the pancake picture? Do it. Yeah, tell us D. Yeah, yeah, do it. Okay, it is going to be something that happened recently. I don't know, but you obviously know when you're listening to this what it is because I figured it out by then. Just didn't have that as a priority today. Okay, it is time now for the segment, the mic. Let's go Wait what is this The mic Hey It's Mike No Oh let's go back with Matthew Let's, let's go, go back, back with, with Matthew right. Yes Okay here we go We're gonna Go back in time To a simpler time A time when radio was cool And we didn't care If there were cameras in there Except if you were Howard Stern In the studio Filming us doing the radio We didn't care We didn't want that to happen So we didn't do it and we didn't do it. And we didn't. We didn't do it. We focused on crazy radioness, radio, audio, theater of the mind, hilarity, or something like that. And I worked at a radio station called K Hey in Ventura County. It is an old transmitter. It has been there a long time, so it got grandfathered in. Got which means a lot of transmitters have a limit to how much power they can put out. We we were pretty much limitless. So our signal went pretty far. We were on top of a tall mountain in the Ventura County area. And so people could hear us all the way down to LA. So the guy that I worked for said, "Mike, why don't you do whatever you want and go crazy and have fun? I'm going to bed." <laughs> I'm going to bed at 9 o'clock So after that You just 9 to midnight Just do whatever Just go crazy And take requests Because that's back when people Called into radio stations To request songs But you can call into this podcast If you want Because I have a phone number And it is 510-228-4640 But here's a little bit Of my radio show From back then This is over 20 years ago About 21 years ago So if you are 21 
and you are just now able to drink, watch your alcohol consumption, because it'll get you. We love you, Mike. (laughs) (laughs) That's why we pay Mike the big bucks, or someone pays. Absolutely. (laughs) At the extra zero. Yeah, that's Um, right. It's, it, it, be careful that the alcohol doesn't become your master, or something like that, something prolific. Well, okay, that maybe wasn't prolific. But here's a little bit uh, from back then, 21 years ago, and there was this moment. Oh, I think we were wrapping up the show here. Garth Brooks. Aww. We heard Six Wire, Look at Me Now, I Had a Dad, Matt Michaels. Put her up! On a Monday, number one on the top eight at eight was My Town by Montgomery Gentry. Tonight in the KE 9 o'clock preview room, the new one from George Strait. She'll leave you with a smile. It passed with a unanimous 100.7% of the vote saying they liked it, of course. People love the George Strait. More on George Strait in just a minute. But tomorrow night in the 9 o'clock preview room, the latest from the Dixie Chicks, as the Dixie Chicks will be releasing their new album tomorrow. You'll have a chance to win the latest from Montgomery Gentry, featuring the song My Town tomorrow night in the 9 o'clock preview room. And after that, at the KH Santa Fe Cafe, the KH Cafe question will be, what was the best thing about leaving home in honor of the Dixie Chicks new album called Home? And a big thanks to Raven Mauling for that question. Thank you, Raven. Um, well, Next stop, the KHAY studio. Pat Michaels has left the building. You call this a party? The beer is warm, the women are cold, and I'm hot under the collar. I enjoy the camera. It has its good side and it has its bad side. When was the last time George Strait came to Southern California? Well, I think it was during the Depression back in 19... That was me. I was doing the old lady voice. Did you like that? That was, hey, so that caller, I actually had a caller on the line and I cut him off. Sorry. It's taken me 21 years, but sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. But lose, booze. Don't booze and lose. There you go. That's probably the anti-alcohol saying that I was trying to come up with. Quitting alcohol is accolade worthy. Okay. Drunkenness is temporary suicide. Wow. And here, partying doesn't mean drinking alcohol. That's true. I've gone to many a party and not drank. Of course, everybody thought I was a square. No, that's not true. There were a lot of... I think I was a good influence because I'd, I'd show up and there'd be the person drinking too much beer. And then some people were like, hey, are you drinking anything? No, no, that's okay. Hey, that's really cool. Hey, I don't know. These were all things that this that was typical teenage speak, actually, back in the 80s. Hey, we'd say that word a lot. Today they say, right? Right. A lot, but that was, it's constantly morphing. Just like this other part of from 21 years ago radio. Uh, 1058. If you're curious, if you don't have a watch. And Faith Hill coming up, Toby Keith, some George Strait. This is Martina McBride. Independence Day. Beautiful mess. Diamond Rio on 100.7 KHAY, and it is Matt Michaels the Kehi Santa Fe Cafe and I'm actually I'm interested to see what's going on out in the uh, parking lot. Valentino the parking attendant. Oh, they thank you. I'm not used to that kind of applause and reception day, Matt. Hmm. Yeah. Um, what was the best thing about leaving home, Valentino? Well, the fact that I finally got my clothes back. Yeah, my dad always borrowed my shirts. My mom borrowed my pants. Whoa. It was crazy day. I did the burn barrel. What was that? I don't know. Just ignore it. Bill Master, American Child. It's 100.7 KJY, the K San Fe Cafe. It's Matt Michaels. Oh. 
what your cafe questions and I didn't get you to answer it and look all smart. Uh huh. What's the question? What was the best thing about leaving home? Well, Matt, first off, I I didn't leave home. Really? Yeah. Marge and I moved into the house that I grew up with. I was a kid. You're a little late with that. I, I'm not the one that controls that. I did the burn barrel. Oh, man, what was that? It sounds like something on our menu. I did the burn barrel. Well, I always enjoy it when you two come around. Brooks and Dunn. If you let her cross the mirror this morning, it should be bad, That was Brooks and Dunn. Okay, so yes, that was a little bit of that time. Eons ago, would there be characters stopping by? It was crazy. So we mentioned a couple things about Netflix. Here's one last thing I found. They are ramping up efforts to bring its top shows closer to its fans through merchandise and brand collaborations. They're introducing its first brew called Geralt's Gold, inspired by the anti-hero... Geralt of Rivia in its fantasy drama The Witcher available in stores for the next two months. I have not watched that show. That's got the guy that was Superman, right? And he's got this crazy gray hair in a lot of it. Well, for Stranger Things, Netflix struck around, let's see, they got 75 brand partnerships going, focusing on big names like Coke and Baskin Robbins. And it's extended to The Witcher, as well as their other show called Bridgerton and Squid Games. Oh yeah, remember how big that was? Netflix efforts to grow its merchandise business comes as subscribers' growth is slowing. Although, it actually just jumped when, even though they banned people from letting, you know, people use the password, the password sharing, uh, apparently they went up. Opened, they opened their DTC merchandise store called Netflix.shop back in 2021. And they have averaged around 337,000. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, 337,000 monthly views there. They started selling its merchandise through Walmart's website as well. And their stock jumped on the password sharing crackdown as it generated close to $6 billion in extra revenue in 2024 and 2025. That's the projection. JP Morgan estimated it as it turned out more bullish on the stock recently. And their ad-supported tier has close to 5 million monthly active users. I have not seen that yet. So, I don't know how well that goes. I despise it. There's a couple channels that's made available to me using the Comcast. They got, was it Tubi? And there's Film Rise and uh, Pluto and they, you know, they barge in with commercials all the time and it gets annoying. When you're watching a streaming service, you don't really expect to see that. So apparently they have 2,003 is this right? 2,332 million subscri- plus subscribers. They got a lot of subscribers is the point. So there you go. Now you know everything about Netflix and morphing and not morphine, but that was a great band that sadly the lead singer died. But it was an awesome band that did a cool use of horns. The guy had an interesting voice. I was listening to a little bit of... Midnight Oil today. That guy had an interesting voice. He's still, I think, it's Pat Garrett is his name, I think. I think he's still around. He went bald. He was a shaved head in the 80s. Now we've got a lot of people that, hey, I'm going bald. I'll shave my head. Yours truly also included. But that is a fantastic album, Diesel and Dust. I mean, it's probably not the best album of all time, but it's fun to listen to now. And if you have a CD player, just pop that in and listen to Beds Are Burning, The Dead Heart, uh, Dream World, uh, some 
somehow is that one someday and yeah that's it's i might listen to that again i enjoyed all those australian bands back in the 80s there was a total influx of in excess and ice house the church and australian artists it was quite a peak of uh daryl braithwaite all those artists and singers and kylie minogue got popular in the 80s too and that's pretty much the end of the show. If you would like to reach me, why, here is Ariel to tell you how. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.